Hello everyone. Today I thought I would show you guys my body mist collection and maybe do a bit of a declutter. As you can see here, I have a lot of body mists. Um, I have a big collection of Bath and Body Works stuff, but I also have some Sol de Janeiro. I have the new Fleur ones, some Victoria's Secret at the bottom. This isn't where I normally store the body mists that I have. I kind of have them all over the place, but I thought it'd be fun to go through them. I'm still kind of recovering from being sick, so I wanted to get something up, but I also have in my mind I might declutter. We'll see what actually happens though because sometimes when I get into it I'm like well 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 and I tend to be someone who keeps scents around specifically a little bit longer and I give myself the opportunity to potentially discover a scent or vibe I guess if you will with a scent later on. So we'll see what I actually end up decluttering but at the end of the day I hope you guys will enjoy this collection and let's get into it. I think I'm going to start with this bottom row and go across and then we'll get to the Bath and Body Works stuff last since it's my biggest category. So starting off over here, these are both of my Lush body mists. I have Yognog, which is one of my favorite scents from Lush. I think it's so good. On the front here, it says it's a butterscotch scented fragrance with hints of clove bud oil. But to me, I really do get that kind of eggnog, creamy, pretty intense sweetness. It is one of those like foodie gourmands, like very foodie and I love it. The other one I have here is Let the Good Times Roll, which is more of a caramel corn kind of scent, another pretty foodie Lush scent. And I quite enjoy this one too. So those are the two that I have from Lush. They're both very intense. And specifically for those, I really do feel like they have some good longevity when it comes to body mist. That's not always the case, but I find the Lush ones are pretty strong. Next here, these are from Alice Brooklyn. These came out earlier this year and there's three. So this one's Sam. This has notes of coconut milk. I feel like you can smell the jasmine in here a lot. And then there's some vanilla and sandalwood and musk in the base. And so I get kind of that creamy coconut white floral thing, almost like a sunscreen. It's really great. I actually really love all of these body mists. They're more expensive for body mists. They're like about $45. But I feel like the scents themselves in this series do feel more elevated to me. So this is probably my number three out of the three. Next is the scent C. This one has a little bit more citrus going on. There's also jasmine in here, some pineapple leaf, as well as some tonka, some sandalwood. I really love the mix of citrus, and there's also something kind of creamy going on as well in this one, so really, really love this. And then last from Ellis Brooklyn, this is Sun. This actually didn't come out with the other two. It came out a little bit delayed, but it's my favorite one. I really love this one. This is also quite citrus. It has clementine, mandarin, lemon in here, orange flower water. There's Ambrox Super, Musk, and cedar wood. It has that citrus musky woody thing going on. It smells fresh and clean and again for a body mist I find it so elevated and these body mists specifically as well. They just have such a good sprayer. Let me <laughs> try to do this. Like luxury. I love it. <laughs> anyway, if you were looking into these, I do think that they're really great, even though they are a bit more expensive. Next, I have a body mist from Henry Rose, and these are pretty unique because they don't have any alcohol in them, if you're wondering. They're pretty expensive, though. They did recently come out with a three-pack, though. I do want to smell the other ones, but this one specifically is Blonde Berry. It's described as a fruity floral. There's black currant in here, and I feel like I definitely can smell that, as well as the blackberry, but it has a soft sweetness, but then there are some musks and some woody touches that I feel like kind of even it out. It's really just a fresh scent. It's pretty nice and again, a pretty elevated scent for a body mist. I feel like traditionally body mists don't really have like the same qualities as perfume when it comes to scent, but some of these higher end ones I think are a little bit more elevated in their scent profiles. I'm still getting my thoughts on the Salt Air products, but I do have, I believe, all of the body mists that they have so far. So this one is called Pacific Pear. It has notes of pear, jasmine, and sandalwood. Next here is Santal Bloom. This is the sandalwood fragrance. I really wanted to love this and I'm not as obsessed with it as I thought. This has notes of sandalwood, sheer amber, and sensual musks. And it's just a little bit more powdery than I want um, when it comes to sandalwood. I tend to like a milkier sandalwood or even a really dry one, but powdery is not usually the way I want to go. If you're looking for something fruity, I would suggest Exotic Pulp. This one definitely 
definitely has that fruitiness. I don't know why, I almost get like a mango a go go kind of a smell to it, but it has notes of juicy orange, guava, and driftwood in it. And last for salt air, this one is pink beach. It has notes of creamy coconut, almond blossom, and vanilla in it. Um, this is another one that I like, but I don't know, there's something to it. It definitely has a bit of a milkiness to it though, if you're interested in that with that coconut and also the almond. But those are all my salt air. Let me know if you have a favorite um, salt air scent down below. Next, I have some scents from Skylar. These ones were sent to me and I have Vanilla Sky, which I really love the Vanilla Sky scent and I think the body mist is nice. Even though I really do like the body mist from Skylar, if I had to suggest, I would say to pick up just the perfume you like since these are the same scents that they do in perfumes. I feel like you're gonna have it last a little bit longer. They already don't have the best lasting power to be honest, but the body mists are a bit cheaper at $30 and the regular perfumes I think retail right at 100, but I just feel like you're getting a better bang for your buck. And they do have sales that go on for their perfumes too. So if you catch those on a deal, I think it's just a better overall deal for you. But I do love Vanilla Sky. This is vanilla, caramelized cedar. It has a cappuccino note in it as well. I love it. It's a very warm, very sweet vanilla. And I love this in the candle too. I would really suggest the candle actually. So that is Vanilla Sky. Next here, this is Peach Fields, which is white peach, osmanthus, and sandalwood. It's a nice, like, clean, dry, and not too sweet peach scent. I feel like it's really good for springtime. That's when I was wearing it a lot, so really love this scent, especially, again, in the perfume. And then last for Skylar, this is Coconut Cove, which is bergamot, coconut, and ambrox, and I think this is a pretty good citrus coconut scent if you guys are interested in that. Um, again, another nice one I feel like for summer. And last kind of with those, I keep this one Creme Vanille, which is from uh, Le Mans Gourmand. I think this just came free with an order, so I didn't really pick this out. And you know, it smells good. It's like a vanilla scent, kind of basic, but I can get down with a basic vanilla to be honest. These next three before we get into the Victoria's Secret ones are kind of one off So I have this one from Body Fantasies, which is sold at Walmart. It's called Cupcake Swirl. If you guys can't tell, like I love a vanilla, I love a gourmand, and so I was excited for this one, but I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I'm still testing it, but it's pretty foodie. Like, I don't know about it, but um, let me know if you have a favorite body fantasies out there. I haven't really explored them much, but I know they're super affordable, which is great. And I'd love to find one I actually really, really love. So let me know your faves. Next, this is called Nude Sugar and it's called Refined Sugar. I don't know if that's like the actual name of the scent and the brand is Nude Sugar or what. I bought this off of Ulta and just got the mini one because I was intrigued naturally um, and it kind of gives me like a less sweet almost kind of muskier and just watered down version of pink sugar in a way like I don't know pink sugar vibes for sure not exact but there's something about it it's almost like pink sugar has been cut by something to make it a little less just strong but um, yeah that's nude sugar to me or refined sugar and then last year from good chemistry which is sold at Target this is called coffee cloud which I feel like is a dupe of cloud from Ariana Grande I really love the Ariana Grande cloud scent and I actually did have the body mist at one point I just felt like the body mist lost all traces of cloud once they diluted it I don't know what it is So I actually feel like this is a better body mist version of cloud if you're looking for it Supposedly what's in here is bergamot espresso and cedar wood But I'm telling you it really is like cloud DNA style from Ariana Grande and I think it's really nice It's an easy wear good body mist for bedtime as well just because it's pretty low-key I'm gonna scoot us over so we can continue on with Victoria's Secret. I believe the Victoria's Secret perfumes are my next biggest category outside of Bath & Body Works. I do prefer Bath & Body Works, but Victoria's Secret always brings me back. I don't know what it is. I tend to, again, not love them as much, but um, they bring me back. So I have three from the pink line. This one's pretty good, Lavender Cloud. It's white lavender and whipped vanilla, and I feel like that's exactly what it is. It's kind of this fluffy vanilla lavender scent, which I really like for bedtime and just kind of cozying. I really love the combination of vanilla and lavender. I think it is divine, so I really like this one. Next, we have basic vanilla, I know, and it's exactly that. It's just a basic vanilla scent. It says vanilla marshmallow, warm chai. I literally just get basic vanilla from this, and I love 
vanilla, so I keep that one around. But the one I don't like and probably my first declutter of the night, here we go. This is Warm Vanilla from Pink. They've like rebranded their stuff so many times I can't even freaking keep up. So naturally I thought I would love this since it said Warm Vanilla, but the other notes in here that it kind of gives, shaved cinnamon, pumpkin cream, marshmallow fluff. I mean, sounds good enough, but the reality is this is very foodie in a way that was like warmer and, I, and more like <laughs> realistic than I thought it was gonna be. I love marshmallow. That one is the note that really got me. But something about the pumpkin cream and the cinnamon and just the foodiness of this, I'm not actually a fan. So I'm gonna pass that one on. Moving on to the rest of these. These are all from just the Victoria's Secret regular line. So I ended up picking up the Holiday 2023 collection. So this is Sun Slope, Icy Coconut and Amber. And it's really like a tropical coconut, but there's a coldness to it. So it smells beachy if you're into that. I feel like I've definitely smelled this before, but it smells good. Next is Night Sip. This is Violet Petals in Champagne, and I feel like that describes it pretty well. It's sweet. I get that kind of purple flower smell from it, to be honest, and I don't know. It's okay. Not my favorite personally, but I could see a lot of people liking it. Next is Snow Drift. This is Frozen Berries and Jasmine, and I find this one to be like the fruity kind of, not tart, but it has a little bit more more of a tartness to it than any of the other ones so that is snow drift it's okay i think the standout and a definite different one here is called frost melt this is fresh mint and chocolate and it really does smell like a chocolatey mint and i feel like chocolate can go wrong <laughs> really fast but i find this to be pretty good like i don't know for a chocolate mint scent i think that it's fun and it's also quite unique you don't see those all the time so if you're interested in that maybe give it a sniff or check it out one of the lines that does keep me coming back to victoria's secret for body mist is the bare vanilla line and specifically this one one of you guys said this is your favorite i can't remember if it's your favorite body mist ever or just your favorite from the bare vanilla line but it's the bare vanilla frosted and so i saw it on mercari and i was like i want to check it out and it's nice it's pretty sweet i feel like in comparison to the other bare vanillas i feel like this is quite a sugared sweet uh version of bare vanilla so um yeah that was a fun one to add to my collection anyway this is bare vanilla cashmere it says on the back here plush patchouli vanilla orchid all wrapped up in bare vanilla i find this to be pretty similar this one didn't i don't feel like have that big of a deviation for me i could see it though being more of like a vanilla 28 from kaoli version of the bare vanilla line so if you really like that scent maybe this is one to check out here we have just bare vanilla classic just such a good vanilla scent honestly it's right in the middle to me it's not too warm not too like cold smell if that makes sense. It doesn't smell too foody, but it's also not too floral and like powdery in that way. So I don't know. It's just like literally a great classic vanilla. And I believe this version is available all the time. So a good one to check out. The last bare vanilla that I have is my favorite. You can tell I've used this one the most and it's bare vanilla untamed. There's just something about this one. I don't know how to explain why it's different for me than regular bare vanilla, but it is. And so this one's my favorite one, if you're wondering, but but again, I always kind of leave out hope that I'll like another bare vanilla. So I love checking out the flinkers of this one. Another one that I actually really like from Victoria's Secret is Autumn Shore. This reminds me of kind of Bonfire Bash in the way that it's a smoky kind of coffee vanilla. Um, I don't think Bonfire Bash has coffee, but it has that smokiness and kind of reminds me of that one. So if you like Bonfire Bash, you might like Autumn Shores. And then the rest of them back here, these I don't have a ton of connection with. I don't know if I'm ready to necessarily declutter them, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that these are just kind of more on the chopping block, maybe eventually, not tonight, but maybe eventually. <laughs> This one's Solar Sands, and this one kind of reminds me of uh, Daisy in a way, kind of. It says it's Sweet Acacia, Golden Vanilla, and Welcome the Heat. <laughs> Not really a note there at the end, but I don't know. I, that doesn't make sense, but I get a little bit of Daisy vibes from this. I believe these next four all came from the same collection that Autumn Shore came from, I think, maybe. This is Sugar Blur, and it is Vanilla Sugar So Whipped. It's hazy, floating with amber, and sheer raspberry and it's like a yeah vanilla raspberry kind of scent this one's petal buzz and it's described as rosebud so fresh it's electric ripened with grapefruit and pink pepper and it's definitely 
that tart, rosy citrus scent. Beach Chill is like a pear kind of scent. And then this is Cedar Breeze, which has notes of rosemary and cedar wood. Um, it's not super woody though, I don't think. It's a little bit different, I guess, for Victoria's Secret, but it's definitely not as woody as I was hoping. And last, because I'm a sucker for fig notes, this is Wild Fig and Manuka Honey, and it's more of like a syrupy kind of fig, so definitely you're gonna want it pretty sweet. There's something like syrupy, sweet, and fruity going on with this one, instead of being a more woody or green kind of fig. Well, that's the first row, and we've gotten rid of one. Definitely more of a collection video than it is a declutter at this point. All right, next we'll do this little shelf, and then everything else will be actually Bath & Body Works. So right here at the front are my Sol de Janeiro. My favorite from the personal line is Churosa 68. I think this smells so good. It's jasmine and dragon fruit, and I get kind of like fruity Baccarat vibes from it, so I love this one. I also have it in a little mini because I got a set during the holidays for Sol de Janeiro, so it also came with the Churosa 40. This one says it's black amber plum and vanilla woods, and I'm still learning to like this. I know a lot of people love it, but it's probably my least favorite of the main line. Next here is 62, which is the Boom Boom Cream, I believe. So it's that pistachio and salted caramel. It smells so good, like a tropical treat. I don't know why I always get something a little bit tropical from it, but it is that caramel, pistachio, sweet, nutty kind of scent. Moving back here, this one is Chirosa 71, which is caramelized vanilla and macadamia, but I actually get more of like a caramel corn, something like that. Like it has that... <laughs> I don't know, there's a corniness to this one, man. Uh, it reminds me of caramel popcorn. This next one back here, Rio Radiance, I believe this is actually part of the main line now, uh, but I think when it first came out, it was like limited. This is like a tuberose and coconut milk scent. So to me, it gives that like classic thick, creamy sunscreen kind of scent. So white florals, coconut milk, it's sweet. And I do like it. That's not always my favorite scent, but I do like this one from Sol de Janeiro. So if you're into that, you'll probably love Rio Radiance. And these next five are all the ones that are from limited edition collection. So this is bikini season. It says notes of sunlit orchid and guava nectar in it. When in Rio has bergamot and vanilla amber in it. This was my favorite from the summer line this summer. And then do not disturb which is notes of mimosa flower and nude musk. And I think a lot of people are saying this is a cloud dupe but I did not get that. This one is not a fave for me at all. I'm keeping them. I'm going to keep all my Sol de Janeiro. I don't plan on really decluttering anything in this section but um, yeah out of the three that was not my favorite. Here we have Tropical Nights and this one has creamy tonka bean and vanilla absolute. I thought this was a nice creamy rich like sexy vanilla scent. And then this one from Sol de Janeiro After Hours is another I feel like sexy kind of I don't know sweet scent. So this has Midnight Jasmine and Amber Woods. I can't remember what I thought this smelled like. I want to say maybe Flower Bomb but I can't remember and because I'm a little sick I feel like my nose isn't working as good as it should be. But I did quite like this one. I think this one came out, did this one come out this year? I think so. They're already teasing another one, which I'm actually really excited for, but I feel like they have definitely upped the body mist releases. All right, here are my Fleur scents. I did end up getting Vanilla Skin, which makes me so happy. I got this during the Black Friday sale they had, which was 20% off, and I'm so glad I got this because this is my favorite out of the three. I don't know, it kind of smells like Bare Vanilla from a Victoria's Secret to me, to be honest, something like that, or even, uh, I want to say maybe the Kaoli one as well, but it's just a nice vanilla scent. Like it's just a good type of body mist. I feel like for me when I want to wear body mist, I want something low key or kind of cozy, maybe something to go to bed to. And so vanilla just always hits the spot. Like I just love vanilla. So anyway, I'm very happy with that. My favorite one out of the three. Amber Haze to me was definitely trying to do a little bit more of the Baccarat DNA. It's not exact, but it definitely falls into that. So if you're into that DNA, you might like this. But if you're trying to stay away because it feels like everyone's doing that DNA <laughs> or trying to have a Baccarat type of scent, uh, I would stay away from Amber Haze. And then last here is Mango Mood, which I feel like is very similar to Wilhelm's uh, Mango Skin. So if you like Mango Skin, I feel like this is a pretty good body mist version at a really affordable price, especially considering the Wilhelm one. So um, yeah, I feel like this is like Mango Skin, but it is Mango Mood from Fleur. And then last here, these are the juice ones, Eau de Juice, and I got these from Ulta. I think when I bought them, they were maybe like 12 bucks, something like that. So I just felt like they were so affordable. I 
I wanted to give them a try. I'm still figuring out my thoughts, but I would say my favorite one is pure sugar. And that's not me even saying it's that great. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of a sweet sugar water smell with a little bit of a plastic touch. Like, not necessarily good, but there's something kind of refreshing about it. I don't know. Uh, if I don't want a scent, but I kind of want a scent, this is the scent, you know? Good energy is the more like citrus and fruity one. So there's orange in here, papaya, mango, passion fruit, kind of tropical. This one's 100% chilled, which has notes of red berries, bergamot, orange blossom, coconut water, musk, sandalwood, and cashmere woods. And last, this is beach please, which is pineapple juice and coconut water. It has some sandalwood, some whipped vanilla, another kind of tropical one. And again, I'm still getting my thoughts on them, but they're so affordable overall and I do really love the packaging. I don't know. I think they're cute Like I love the clearness of them I guess but they also kind of remind me of the old-school Victoria's Secret pink ones Do you remember the like square shapes and I don't know there's something about that All right, we have made it to Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh I feel like my nose is getting more stuffed as we go So I apologize for my sick voice, but because there are so many I'm gonna try to like run through these a little bit more So I'll read you some notes on the back. I'll give you some thoughts on the ones that I particularly like and I'm also expecting if any decluttering is getting done it's gonna be in here so we'll see what I actually get rid of I don't know again I go back and forth sometimes with the sense like do I want to have them and like Bath and Body Works come out with so many different ones sometimes they're just repackaged but it's kind of fun to collect them not gonna lie but I think I have some I can pass on so starting on the smaller shelf these are all lined double so whatever you see there's a whole row behind it this one here is champagne Champagne toast and this one has notes of bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine um, I believe this is kind of one of the core scents so I will keep that and this is I believe their faceted bottle is what they call it this next one starlit night this has notes of snowberry midnight iris and sensual agarwood and I'm not super familiar with this one. I tend to not love the deep berries of sets, you know what I mean? Like there's always a deeper, darker, kind of fruity, sexy berry scent. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I feel like that's what this one is. So I don't tend to gravitate to them, but I'm not ready to let go. I'm not, <laughs> we'll see. I think there'll be some fall scents I can get rid of. Sweet whiskey is one I love. This has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. Highly, highly recommend this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of Fleur somebody would and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Anisio's uh, side effect to be honest so I love this it's a really really good one from Bath and Body Works don't pass this one up I'll try to make note of the ones that fall into this category but this is like if I were doing a only the best sense of the best sense not ones I want to kind of discover or have a collection of this one would make the cut same with Bonfire Bash this is notes of vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk and it's kind of a smoky vanilla scent a woody smoky vanilla. This one's really great. I really love it. I don't think it came out this year. There were a few I was hoping were like fireside flurries and I didn't see it which makes me so freaking sad. Next is white pumpkin and chai. This one has notes of cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. It's pretty sweet. I don't feel like the cinnamon or pumpkin that is in here comes out too much. Next is a snowflakes and cashmere. I really like this one. I smelled this on someone else and was like yeah I gotta get that. It's vanilla cashmere cream, caramel wood, and frosted clementine so I really really love this one it's very vanilla but has a little bit of a brightness strawberry pound cake is like exactly what you think it is strawberry freaking pound cake it's fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream very sweet very foody more realistic I feel like and the reason I wanted the body mist is because I really love it in the scent for the spray hand sanitizer it smells so good so um, that convinced me I needed the body mist vanilla mocha martini was a really good one one. I really liked it. It reminds me of Vanilla Sky from Skylar, but like the chocolate version, like the more mocha version. It has notes of cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean in it. So that one was really good. Next, this is Underwater Oasis. This is more of like that fresh kind of uh, aquatic scent. So it has sparkling bergamot, jasmine, blue musk. It just smells light and clean to me. I like this one. It's like musky. Next, Midnight Blue Citrus. This one I got because it did have the candle scent. And I thought it was cool. It was in the body mist, but it is notes of juicy citrus, fresh sparkling water, and sweet mango. All right, next we have leaves, and I was excited because I had only ever seen this with a candle. I guess it's come out before, but I was so excited to have this in a body mist because I wanted to use it around my house, actually. It's very cinnamony. smells like the candle. It's so 
fall, honestly. So I think that's a fun one. Not necessarily one I'm like trying to put on my body all the time though. It's very much associated with like home and candles to me. Okay, this one back here, I feel like is probably gonna go. I have a lot of these fall ones that I feel like I just didn't necessarily connect with. Like they were fine enough, but fall in bloom here. It's notes of juicy plum, wild blooms, and velvet moss. And I think I can get rid of that one. Black cherry Merlot I'm gonna keep. I actually really like this one in the body mist, which I'm kind of surprised because I wasn't always into the candle. So this is notes of dark cherry, black raspberry, and Merlot. But keeping that one. This one, strawberry and snowflakes. It has notes of juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. I'm gonna keep that one. I think this one's nice. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I think I'm gonna actually get rid of this one just because it's a little foodie for me. I know they come out with it a lot, so I'm not worried in case I change my mind, but I think in the meantime, this one can go. And I forgot, but this one had notes of maple syrup, golden waffle, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Sounds like something I'd really like, but I don't know. It's a little bready almost. This next one is Together Weather. It has notes of blushing breeze, if you know what that smells like. Uh, it has sugared cardamom and soft cedar. I remember when I did the video on the fall uh, Bath and Body Works scents that a lot of people really like this one, and it wasn't one of my favorites, but I'm gonna keep it for a little bit because you guys <laughs> make me feel like, wait, why don't I like this more? Why does everyone else? So I'm gonna keep that for now. Next here is Champagne Apple and Honey. This one smells pretty good, but I think I might also get rid of this one. The notes on this one are crisp apple sparkling, champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. And again, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I could live without it, I'm gonna let it go. And then all five of the scents over here are Halloween ones, so I'm gonna keep all of them. This one's Vampire Blood, which has notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. This next one's called Midnight Spell. It has notes of mystic air, moonlit woods, and crystal amber. It was like a more fresh one. I like this one. This one's Everlasting Magic. It has notes of bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. Wicked Vanilla Woods, which is my favorite out of all five. Like, I love this because it's a nice, like, spicy almost vanilla. It has notes of magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper, but I almost get like a patchouli note. Like, the pink pepper comes comes off kind of spicy like that. So I really like this one. I was sad it didn't come back this year. And then last year, Enchanted Candy Potion. I wanted to like this one more than I do. It's spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. It's a very sweet candy-like scent. I feel like it's a little bit bright and I wish it was more just sugared. But anyway, I'm just being nitpicky. It's pretty good. And I just love the Halloween look to the bottles. So when there's a new scent, I tend to pick it up. All right, guys, I took a little break because yesterday my nose was getting a little too stuffed it was getting too much but we're back we're gonna finish off this top row of bath and body works body mist and it just so happens that when i'm filming this at least when it's gonna go up this weekend is the body care weekend for bath and body works so all the body mists are 4.99 it is a limited time so it might not be valid depending on when you're watching this but they do these kind of sales every now and then i think this is like their most extreme but they'll sometimes do 5.95 so definitely look out for those sales so you can save some money i feel like that's when i've gotten most of these or i get them for free with my coupons and things like that. So anyway, naturally I bought a few, but let's just go through these and I'll tell you my thoughts, what I'm keeping, what I'm not. So first here, this is pumpkin cupcake. It has notes of whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. I'm gonna keep this one around for now. I mean, all those notes are great. I don't have a ton of familiarity with this one though. Next here from the same line, this is blueberry sugar pancakes. I know this is like a fan fave. Like a lot of people love this scent. I think it's good don't get me wrong but I keep this one around because it's just everyone's favorite and I'm like one day we'll connect like everyone else does notes on this sugared blueberries fresh pancakes caramel cream drizzle oh my gosh that's intense um so that's blueberry sugar pancake keeping next is a sweet petal pound cake I was really hoping this would be similar to the candle and it's pretty close so this is notes of candied rose raspberry swirl frosted bundt cake I think this came out with maybe the semi-annual sale recently Recently, the most recent one and then in very similar packaging. This is ice lemon pound cake This is a very lemony sugared pound cake kind of scent if you can imagine notes on this sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake so I'm gonna keep that one as well. Next is Ivory Cashmere. I really like this one. It's simultaneously fresh and cozy at the same time. So it has notes of lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. And I find it to feel clean, but still like skin-like and cozy. So I'm gonna keep that. Sweater Weather is a classic.
classic. I've burned so many of these candles. Notes on this, sun crisped apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. And I don't know, it's just such a quintessential fall scent to me. I think we're at our first declutter of this shelf. This is Hibiscus Paradise. I do like this, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I think I'm just ready to pass it on. I'm not like tied to it too much right now. So if I feel that, I'm like going with the flow with that, you know? Anyway, notes on this, pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. I feel like the coconut that's in here is a little bit more dry and kind of powdered. And I don't want to say it smells stale, but something like that to my nose anyway. Um, but I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but it's time to pass it on. From that same line, this is Golden Ocean Pearl, another one that's like fresh, musky. It still has something kind of sweet, just lightly to it. I don't know, I like these kind of musky scents. So this has Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid, and Golden Amber. So I'm gonna keep that one. Next is a classic in the stars. I really quite like this one. I don't have notes on it, but I believe this one's kind of like a cloud, Baccarat DNA. It's kind of like in that vein for sure, but a little bit more fruity. It reminds me also of the Chiroza 68 from Sol de Janeiro. Like it's similar to that. And then right next to that, I keep Into the Night, which to me is like the deeper, darker barrier version of that. This has notes of raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvet rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. Man, they let it go in. <laughs> they gave us all the notes on this one. I think this one's overall pretty nice and I'm gonna keep it. Another one on the chopping block. I'm not a super big fan of Copperfields. It's fine, but I'm ready to pass that on for sure. This has notes of Harvest Sun, Fresh Wildflowers, and Bronzed Woods. I'm pretty sure my mom will love this, so I'm excited to give it to her to wear. Moonlit Martini I am gonna keep. I quite like this one. It's a little bit more of that like fresh musk thing. It has notes of vibrant fruit, sparkling gin, and midnight musk. So that one I'm keeping. These next two, I got these during the semi-annual sale and I'm just, I haven't connected with them. So afternoon sunshine, this has notes of golden peaches, honeycrisp apple, white woods. I'm just gonna pass it on. I don't love the packaging. I don't really, yeah, just don't connect with it. And I think I'm also gonna pass on cozy evening. This is the one I liked the most out of the two, but again, I just feel like I'm not, I'm not gonna miss it. So this has notes of lavender blooms. The lavender is what's keeping me to almost hang on to it. Uh, fresh freesia and cozy musk, but I'm gonna let that one go. All right, next, this is blackberry and basil. I feel like this is similar in some ways or like a take on blackberry and bay, honestly, from Joe Malone. It has notes of fresh blackberry, pink pomelo, sweet basil and jasmine petals. So I'm gonna keep that. This next one is whipped rose and vanilla. I feel like this is a Delina exclusive exclusive kind of dupe anyway to me. Has the vanilla and the rose. Notes on here, crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. So I'm gonna keep that one. You guys already know one of my favorites ever, Beach Nights. I'm obsessed with the scent. I've been through one of these. I have a backup of this. Like I'm a, I am love it. So definitely keeping this. It is literally s'mores at the beach. I feel like with a little bit of sunshine, like it's so good. Notes on this, toasted marshmallow, get out of here, sea salt, Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, Creamy Vanilla. I swear to you, every time I read Toasted Marshmallow, I say, get out of here. <laughs> I have the same reaction every time because I love a Toasted Marshmallow note. So definitely keeping that. You guys want to know the saddest thing though? Fireside Flurries. I love this scent. I love it. It did not come back this winter, which makes me literally heartbroken. Like what the absolute heck? Bath and Body Works, get it together. But this one's bad. It's off, it stinks, so I have to get rid of it. I might pick up one on Mercari or something because I really am sad to not have this in my life. But notes on this, toasted marshmallow, okay, yes. Pink lavender, cashmere woods, it's just so cozy. It has a little bit of like a graham crackery kind of smell to it with the marshmallow though. It's so good, um, but this one has to go. Next, this is marshmallow pumpkin latte. I wanna say this is the one that stinks for me. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. Like it just, sometimes the different versions of stuff smell bad. I don't know how to explain it. You guys know Vanilla Bean Noel, sometimes it's stinky and smells like feet slash throw up and sometimes it smells great. So anyway, I'm going to pass this one on. I mean, maybe someone else won't smell it, but if I smell 
the gross smell, I'll probably just have to toss it, to be honest. I do really love that scent though, um, but I feel like in the body mist, it just hasn't worked out for me. All right, next here's Sunrise Woods. This is another one I think I'm gonna pass on. There were a lot of fall scents that I really wanted to try, but I just haven't connected with. So this is Creamy Sandalwood, Sweet Berries, Cozy Cashmere. It's a nice one. I've used this in the body scrub, I wanna say, and I think even a body gel, like a shower gel, but it's time for it to go. So I'm gonna pass that on. Moving along, this one here is Fresh Vanilla Blossom. Love this. This came out this year, or at least I think it came out. Maybe it's a re-promoted one. I'm not sure, but man, I really love this. This has notes of suede petals, soft sandalwood, vanilla bean. If you're into vanillas, I would check this out. It's not too floral. It's not too fresh of a vanilla, but it's also not too foody, like too heavy foody. So if you like that, I think you should check it out. And then Cozy Vanilla Bourbon is also so good. Highly recommend this one. Both the vanillas in this collection are really great in my tops for sure. And I was kind of surprised. I thought I would love one and then one would be like, eh, but I love both of them. This one has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, vanilla liqueur. And I feel like this is a mix of sweet whiskey and fireside flurries. Like if they had a baby, it would be cozy vanilla bourbon. And I love both of those. So I highly suggest cozy vanilla bourbon too. All right, here's what's left. Next, this is Christmas cookies. I'm not super familiar, but I'm gonna keep this one because I just feel like I'm gonna connect with it one day. Creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, caramel woods. Like it sounds really great, but for some reason I reach for all my other ones over this. So I wanna give this some uh, good wear, especially this time of year. I feel like obviously Christmas cookies is perfect for Christmas time. So I'm going to keep that for now. Next, this is frosted coconut snowball. I feel like this is similar to the Victoria's Secret one that came out this year. It's like that beachy coconut, but there's something about it that's a little bit cold smelling instead of like for warm weather, if that makes sense. So notes on this, frosted coconut, whipped vanilla, sugar crystals, winter freesia, and snow-kissed woods. So I'm gonna keep that one. Warm vanilla sugar is just a classic, so I'm definitely keeping that. It has notes of intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Kind of basic, but again, I love a basic vanilla. Another classic, Japanese cherry blossom. I'm also gonna keep this. This has notes of Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. So that is staying. I'm gonna keep both of these. This one's cloud nine. It has notes of lavender breeze, midnight dew drops, and cozy amber. So that's staying. And then pastel skies, I feel like out of the two I've gotten more use out of. This one reminds me in a way of Boardwalk Delight in the sense that it has like a cotton candy note, but it is a little bit more clean, I guess, in how it smells. So this is notes of soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. And so it has that coconut aspect, the cotton candy, and also so a freshness and so it just feels similar to Boardwalk Delight. Next we have Chasing Fireflies. I'm just not super into this scent, so this one's going. I feel like I smelled a bit of Lieb, like why I sell Lieb from this, so it's gonna go. It has notes of golden pear, jasmine blooms and illuminated woods. Don't, I don't know why this smells like leap to me. I don't know, but that's kind of what I get from it. So that's going. For now, I'm going to keep brown sugar and fig. I was so excited when they re-released this and I don't know. It's just okay. I don't know. thought I would be way more in love with it than I am, but I'm going to keep it for now. This has notes of fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized brown sugar. You think it's going to be more milky and almost heavy than it really is. I don't know. There's something about it that doesn't come across. Like those notes do not come across to me. These next ones I'm keeping because I feel like they're classic Bath and Body Works or I don't know. They're kind of fun and festive, but I'm not super familiar with them. So A Thousand Wishes. This is Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. I am going to keep that. This next one is Dream Bright. And I don't know why this does remind me of the Bejeweled music video from um, Taylor Swift. Anyway, this is Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. So I'm gonna keep that. Next here, Cocoa Paradise. I'm gonna keep this one around, especially for next summer, so I can get some use out of it. It's Salted Coconut Minoy, Sugared Neroli, and Bronzed Sandalwood, kind of that beachy coconut scent. Wild Sand, I feel like I can get rid of. Um, it's just not quite for me. It's not bad, but it has prickly pear fruit, cactus flower, and warm agave nectar, and it's just not 
not quite my profile, so I'm gonna pass that one on. Okay, Sensual Amber I do quite like, but I hate this packaging. I just think it's so ugly. It looks dated to me, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I know that's kind of a lame reason, but if I really wanna pick this up again, I'm sure there'll be different packaging. So this is Golden Amber, Wild Berries, Orange Flower, Lotus Petals, and Creamy Sandalwood, and that's gonna go. Kind of similar with Cashmere Glow. Like, I like this scent, but I just don't love the packaging. I don't know what it is. This is Golden Peach, Lily Petals, Shimmering Vanilla, Cashmere Musk. Ugh, I'm gonna let it go. If I'm feeling it, I'm trying to go with it, so that's going. Okay, this was a big hit last year, wrapped in vanilla. I really like this. It's a thicker vanilla, though. I don't know. I almost get, like, Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth from it. Like, that's what I get. It's notes of soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and Chantilly cream. That cream really comes out, I feel like, so I'm keeping that for sure. I think this is a really great Bath & Body Works vanilla. Cotton Candy Clouds, one of my favorites for cotton candy. If you want like a straight up cotton candy scent, this is it. It's sugared, so good. It's not overly syrupy though. It's just perfect, seriously. I don't have notes on it, but so good for cotton candy. Like just straight up pink cotton candy. I love it. All right, Emerald Mist. I think I'm gonna keep this for now. Um, I think it's like a pear one. Let's see. Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, yeah, and Blonde Woods. It's not a favorite, but again, I wanna give it a little bit more time. So I'm gonna keep it for now. Midnight Amber Glow is a fave. Really, really love this one. It is like really sugared, but a little bit deeper caramelized kind of smell. So it has smooth amber, caramel latte, vanilla bourbon. Oh, it's really, really good. This is another one I really liked. I think it came out last year. All right, Among the Clouds. I'm not super familiar with this. The notes make me want to keep it, but then other things make me want to get rid of it. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time in my collection, but this one might be decluttered next. I don't know. We'll see. Notes on this Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. I love the whipped vanilla, but I don't always love it paired with a berry. You know, it's okay. So anyway, I'm going to keep this around for now. The last four, you guys. This I bought off Mercari because this is like the coveted boardwalk marshmallow clouds. I want them to re-release this. It has notes of whipped vanilla, marshmallow meringue, white magnolia, and fluffy sandalwood. It's pretty good, but I really just wanted to have it in my collection. So I'm really glad to have that. I don't use it a ton, but it does smell really good. And again, I really want them to re-release it. Next, this is Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. It has a little bit of that banana in it, which I really like. Notes on this passion fruit, pineapple leaves, banana flower, and it's a little bit more floral. And again, has those like tropical fruits, but the banana touches and it's nice. I really like this one. It's like the cleaner version, I guess, of a tropical fruity kind of scent. Like it's not too sickly sweet. Pink Pineapple Sunrise literally smells like pink pineapple. It's like a really sugared pineapple scent. I really like this one. Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drenched Nectar. I'm definitely keeping that. The last big one, this is Whipped Coconut Milkshake. I love this. This is so good to me. It's thick, it's kind of dense, but it is a milky coconut, but it has these toasted qualities to it. So it has some warmth to it. I just really like it and I love it in the shower gel too. And last, I'm gonna keep this Happy Birthday. It is a kind of birthday vanilla kind of scent. On the back here, it just says vanilla buttercream, but again, kind of just a classic kind of vanilla. It's nice. So um, yeah, that is, my collection. All right, here's what I've decluttered. I believe it's 15 here, so I feel pretty good about that. Just getting rid of a little bit of the bulk so that my other mists can kind of shine and I can see them a little better. So I'm excited to pass on what I can and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your favorite body mist down below, especially if it's from Bath & Body Works. If you're watching this when I upload it and you're interested in the Bath & Body Works sale, that might be something to check out. But other than that, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.